What's up, Gideon's Tactical Family and Outdoor Adventures the world over. Today, I want to invite you along with me as we hit the outdoors and discover together what a fireproof, stove-ready, first-of-its-kind titanium water purification bottle actually looks like. So here's the breakdown, guys. Grail has taken their Ultra Press system. They have upgraded the filter with a one-way silicone valve, which means now that it's electrolyte and beverage ready. At the time of this video, my understanding is that this one-way valve only comes on the titanium version, but over the next several months, there's a planned rollout, not only for the Ultra Press, but I believe eventually for the Geo Press as well. And what this one-way valve does is opens up the possibilities for so many different beverages being able to be drunk out of the main container. And they've replaced the polymer body with CP4 grade one titanium. This is the most corrosion resistant and has the highest impact toughness of all the titaniums on the market. And so what does that mean for you and me, the outdoor adventure or the prepping survivalist? It has the potential to completely alter the way that you set up your water purification and camp cook set layout, almost. Well, what do you mean almost? As I've taken this out now on several outdoor adventures, used it a bunch in a, several different scenarios, I've discovered that there is a lot of versatility in the design that I'm about to unpack with you, but there are also two attributes to the design that could be detractors and hold it back from certain aspects or just certain needs that some of you may have. Now, as you know, Grail is a regular partner and member of my affiliate program. They did send this Ultra Press titanium version over to me to be able to test out and review. But as always, we're discovering where the capabilities lie, but also where any limitations exist in the design so that you guys can make a wise choice whether or not this is worth putting into your kit and using on a regular basis. So out of the gate, the Titanium Ultra Press streamlines three must-haves when I go hiking and backpacking. I have to have a means to purify water, and I need some form of metal pot that I feel comfortable putting not only in a campfire to boil water if necessary and prepare food, but also to be able to go over a stove and then in turn, if necessary, drink the water that I've purified and or eat out of. And now I've got that mug to drink out of purification system that Grail offers that not only filters, but then purifies and is able to process water on all seven continents. And obviously the outer titanium housing is perfect for those camp stoves as well as to put into your campfire. And they're able to give that to us at an extra weight of only 1.6 ounces heavier than the current Ultra Press in the polymer version. This comes in at 12.5 ounces. The titanium system is 14.1 ounces. And if you're like me, you're wanting to count every ounce when possible and streamline your system, it is extremely difficult to compete with the weight to performance ratio that the titanium Ultra Press is giving you and me. Now they've given us these really nice butterfly arms, making it easy to manipulate it on and off of a stove or in and out of the fire. And those arms will collapse and be real nice and streamlined across the body, making it easier to fit into smaller water bottle pockets of smaller, lighter backpacks, but also fits horizontal on Grail's waste pack holder. Now, one other thing with these arms that I liked as well, not only does it give you just a good grab, you know, it's not slick metal. If you're drinking tea or coffee or some other beverage directly out of the water that you just boiled. Now it might seem minor, but I hate dipping my hands into that cold, icy water, even taking my gloves off. And what this, these handles offer you is the ability to scoop up water out of your water source without even touching or engaging the water source many times, which is great, particularly on ice cold days like I have been in when I was testing this out. And as a reminder, Grail's water filter can withstand up to three freezes before it needs to be replaced. And to my knowledge, that's one of the only filters on the market that does give you that safety net when you're in colder environments. And this is a really cool feature. I didn't get the chance to test it, but it has this little D-ring back here that is designed for paracord that if your water source is unobtainable or difficult to access and you're up above it, you can fish your main body down, scoop up the dirty water, and then pull it back up to you. I think that's genius and just gives you another layer of versatility and access to your water source, particularly if it's very difficult to access. 
Now, on the internal housing of the titanium body, you are going to have your fill line that lets you know that you're going to have 16 ounces. So if you are processing and boiling water in that capacity for cooking, that's your way to be able to tell. That's about the max that you would want to fill that if you're going to boil water in it. You might be able to get one or two more ounces, but two cups is about a comfortable space of water to be able to boil inside the titanium cup. Now, one thing I was a little concerned about was heat retention. How soon can I put the filter and the housing back in? You know, we have a polymer filter. We got silicone gaskets. I don't want to melt or warp those by putting it into a hot container and then causing damage to the filter or to the seals. Well, the good news is after boiling water in this, I was able to put it to my lips and drink and not burn my lips or tongue within about 30 seconds of it being taken off of my stove and having boiled the water. So that is excellent that you can drink out of it almost immediately. And since titanium just isn't that good at retaining heat, once I poured the boiling water out into my backpack or meal, it was cool to the touch in about two to three minutes. And that means before you're able to consume your beverage that you just prepared or finish the backpack or meal that you just prepped, this will be cool and ready to rock and roll and hit the trail again. Now to the two design aspects that may make you take a moment to consider, is this really the right design to pursue? Currently, no lid. So it's just an open mouth. If that's something that you are concerned with, there's obviously an easy fix that a lot of ultralight backpackers know. Just get some aluminum foil and you've got yourself a little lid there just to help speed up the boiling process and keep insects and particulates, particularly if you're putting it in a campfire so you don't get all the ash inside. That is an easy solution. It would have been mind-blowingly cool if they had come up with some sort of rotating lid that like screwed on to the bottom and then you unscrew and then it'll just sit on top with maybe another little D-ring or something, maybe in future designs because Grail does seem to just always be innovating. Next are the dimensions. At 2.75 inches wide and about seven inches, tall without all the filter and extra portions. It's just a top heavy device. It's just the way it's designed. And what that means is that when you use it in a campfire, there isn't really any issue. You know, you can balance it, prop it up against a log, you know, do whatever you got to do. But when you use it with a backpacking stove, cook stove, you really have to be conscientious of making sure that it is nice and level. Out of the six different times in the backcountry, I used this on a camp stove. One of the times, it wasn't perfectly level. I wasn't really paying attention to it. It hit the rolling boil because the boil had kind of shaken it, tipped over, and I had to start the whole process over again. So that's something to consider and just be aware of. You really got to keep an eye on it. Make sure you get it nice and level and keep an eye on it once it hits that rolling boil so that if there is an issue, you can kind of catch it, readjust if necessary. Now, as I stated earlier, when I'm making this video, these are currently on pre-order. The pre-orders will ship December 14th is what I believe the date is. And then after that, they'll be available uh, to the public. You can get these in a couple different lid colors, but other than that, the body currently is the same. And this runs an MSRP of $200. Because as you know, the rule in outdoor gear, the lighter and more streamlined it is, obviously the more it will cost you to cut all those ounces and streamline the system. Now, as someone who is in the outdoors regularly, that loves building campfires, cooking over the fire, making coffee in the outdoors is very therapeutic for me. Someone who backpacks regularly, being able to have one dedicated streamlined system that I can just not even think about it, not balance a bunch of different pots and cups and mugs and you know dealing with all of that, for me, I absolutely see the value in it and it alleviates not only weight, extra space, but streamlines that so it's a one and done system for me because it alleviates a lot of the extra weight and cumbersome accessories. But I know that that system may not make sense for everyone and that's where something more like the GeoPress with the Grail Pathfinder nesting cup with lid, slam that sucker in there maybe makes a little bit more sense. It's not gonna be anywhere near as light or streamlined. And that's where only you are the best one to determine for yourself which device makes more sense. And it's really cool to see a company truly innovating and working to provide more and more capability 
in their devices and being able to hit those multiple price points for those who just need the water filter, for those who just want the filter and the pot, or those who really need that streamlined ultralight titanium option. This is now available. So guys, I appreciate you coming over today and checking out this video. I hope that it's been informative, but also entertaining, showing you what this device is capable of to help you better determine for yourself if it's gonna fit what you're looking for. I invite you to check out the other video popping up to subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.